Now, air quality, not the best, not the most inviting view if we were having people traveling from around the world to Utah right now. Up in Logan, the Cache Valley, that's where our air quality is currently the worst at unhealthy for sensitive groups. But for Perry down through Ogden and Layton, mostly moderate air, starting to trend towards that orange level, but still moderate across the Salt Lake Valley. Out to the Twila Valley, that's where it's again trending towards that orange level, which is unhealthy for sensitive groups. And for Utah County, moderate air. So it's gotten a little bit worse in the last hour. A live look right now from our IMC cam facing towards that sunset right on the Oakers. 45 here in Salt Lake, 46 for Ogden, 45 for Provo. A beautiful sunrise this morning. Thank you so much, Delia, for putting this in our Facebook group, Utah's Weather Authority. That was the view from Mill Creek this morning. Temperatures as we get ready for bed tonight will be about 30 degrees for Ogden, Salt Lake, and Provo, and then it will drop into the 20s or upper 20s for many of you when you first wake up tomorrow morning. So 7 o'clock in the morning, still close to 30 here along the Wasatch Front. And then we look at the afternoon hours, another day in the 40s. St. George, you're close to 70 through this weekend and then a big cool down Monday to Tuesday next week here along the Wasatch Front near Super 7 Day Forecast. Thursday into Friday, we're going to continue with some moderate air quality, turning to mandatory action late in the week. By Friday, our temperatures here in Salt Lake still close to 50 50, Saturday 49 and by Sunday we're going to have those temperatures right around 50 degrees with our next changes arriving as a chance for a pattern change late Valentine's Day into Tuesday brings us some chances for snow. So we're going to have a pretty big cool down by next Monday and Tuesday. We'll drop from mid 50s on Monday to upper 30s next Tuesday. And I wanted to show you the temperature outlook for week two actually because this is when we could end up with uh, potentially uh, some some drier conditions again returning. So we'll have that potential for some active weather in the early next week. It's not going to let me pull that up. Let's see if we can pull up the day six to 10 precipitation outlook. So this is the 14th of February through the 18th of February. Utah, Wasatch Front, we're right in between neutral precipitation and dry out west, wetter than usual in eastern Utah. So right split right there as we look at our day's six to 10 outlook. And we'll continue with those temperatures in the 50s through early next week week or close to it and that's where we're going to see our big cool down. Keep in mind we are still about a week out so the details on this can and will change and we'll keep monitoring that for you.